Yo, yo, I'm Trigil Chris, and today we're going to be talking about one of the weirder experiences that I've had with a drug uh, in my life, and that drug is DXM. Now, I'm not going to try and pronounce the actual name of it, but this is the name of it, uh, just because I'm really, really bad at pronouncing the names of drugs. Uh, but I will explain the entire trip and my thoughts on it and what that drug is and absolutely everything just after this mention from the sponsor of the day, VoipScan. If you ever want to advertise any of your services, you can do so with VoipScan. They have some of the most favorable conditions in the marketplace. They have over 100,000 people available to watch your ads and they have a really flexible customer targeting system. You can set a fee for one viewing of the video and you get a personal convenient account where you can view your statistics very easily. The minimum amount to get going is $80 and for a limited time, they're going to be doubling your money. So every time you add $80, they're actually going to give you 160. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and you want to advertise your services through them, the link will be in the description. And even just rating them, going on the website and just checking them out. It really does the channel some good because it brings traffic to them. So cheers guys for supporting the sponsors. Remember guys, helping out the sponsors helps out the channel in turn and it all does wonders. VoipScan, thank you guys so much for sponsoring loads of these videos. Been single-handedly making this channel be able to do what it's doing right now. Cheers guys. So DXM cough syrup. When I say cough syrup, the first thing that comes to your mind is probably lean. Now, before the whole lean was a thing, like, you know, that, that's, that's essentially cough syrup and codeine. That's a separate thing altogether. Now, cough syrup by itself is literally what it what it says. It's cough syrup. It's literally just straight up a, a brand of cough syrup. I'm not going to say the brand on stream because there are a few different brands, but there's one main brand uh, and it's also why it's dubbed uh, Robo Trippin. Uh, if you know the brand, you'll understand the reference. Essentially, there's a type of cough syrup which only has DXM in it. It doesn't have anything else in it. It doesn't have any other active ingredients, no unactive ingredients, nothing. It's just DXM. So when there's an over-the-counter medicine and there's only one active ingredient and there's no unactive ingredients and that one ingredient happens to just make you trip bollocks and has people literally refer to it as a version of LSD, I don't... I personally wouldn't fucking say that myself, but there are people out there who would try and say that this is uh, like LSD and, and 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 whatnot. They try and compare the two. But yeah, but anyway, what do you think happens when that's the only active ingredient inside of a thing? I think you're gonna get a whole community of people absolutely trying to abuse the fuck out of it, right? And that's exactly what happened with DXM. It's it's more of like a teenage thing. It's the type of thing that, you know, again, it's like the nutmeg thing that I was talking about the other day. It's kind of one of those things that you come across when you're trying to find out legal things you can get high from, like as a teenager, when you don't really like know a dealer and all this stuff and you're just getting interested in drugs. Like that's what DXM is kind of for. Like well, it's not for that, obviously. It's for, co it's for your cough, bro. So DXM. I actually researched this a lot when I was a kid, like quite a lot. Like I used to, I used to see this, you know, on loads of forums. I used to see it in loads of articles. I was really interested in how it worked, but I never did it. I never did it because, like, I don't know. Like I saw so many off trip reports and stuff that didn't make it make it seem fun. And I don't know. It just, like. I'm gonna be real with you guys here. I never did that shit when I was a kid because I was doing a lot of other drugs. Like if I wanted to do something that was gonna make me trip, I'd probably take something a bit more um, with a with a better punch than DXM, if I'm gonna be real. So I personally had never done this as like a teenager. Like, you know, I researched it. I'd seen loads of stuff about it on forums, articles and everything. And I just never did it. I think there were a couple times when I was gonna do it and the stores that I went into didn't have any cough syrup that didn't have any other uh, ingredients in it. Like they either had unactive ingredients or other active ingredients in it, which would make it so you wouldn't be able to uh, actually do the substance in the way that you want to without, you know, extreme risk of, of uh, like, you know, possibly fatal complications and stuff, right? Which is not really what you want when you're just trying to trip. <laughs> uh, but, about four years ago, for some reason, <laughs> I decided to give it a try. Now, bearing in mind, when I say four years ago, some people are going to think, hold on, four years ago? Drew, you're 22 at the moment. That means you were like 18. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not even going to lie yet. I did this after I stopped doing most other drugs. This is two years after I'd pretty much stopped uh, all of the really sketchy drugs that I used to do. Like, I used to do a lot of like weird shit and like... Yeah, but this is like two, three years since then. 
And even in this period of time, four years ago, I think the only other drug that I did other than cannabis was I think I dabbled in mushrooms like once every six months. Um, and like some people debate whether they think that's a medical thing or whether it's not because uh, the, the, in the controls in which I did it and the only reason I did it was to get rid of like depression and my headspace and microdosing and stuff like it wasn't for a full trip. So it's a debate on whether the mushroom use was recreational or medical. You can leave that in the comments down below. But that's pretty much all I was doing. That sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? That like, I've stopped doing all recreational drugs and I don't even trip or anything anymore and uh, and I just smoke bud for medical purposes and occasionally dabble in this other thing. And for some reason, I decided that I was gonna do DXM. <laughs> Right, look, let me just, let me explain. Yes, this was dumb. <laughs> yes, yes, this was dumb, right? And I have, I would, like, <laughs> I would never do this now, right? But I had an actual cough. Like, I had a cough. I didn't have, like, a throat infection or anything. It was just, I had a really bad cough for, like, a week. And it just wasn't going away. And I didn't really know what to do. So uh, I went out and I got some cough medicine, right? <laughs> And when I went out and I got this cough medicine, I was going around and I asked the pharmacist, like, you know, which 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 cough medicine is the best one? They're like, yo, this is the best one. This is the one that everyone says is the best one. And and like, you know, th this is like, this will get rid of your cough, right? I picked this up and lo and behold, it is the cough syrup. It is the fucking cough syrup. Like no other active ingredients in it, no unactive ingredients in it. It's just DXM, right? <laughs> And you know, when you try to do something like this when you're younger and you tried to research it and you did really want to do it and you never found it and then suddenly it's been placed into your hands. <laughs> I really was like, yeah, maybe I should try a bit of this. Maybe I should see what it's like. So I did my little research again, you know, I try and find out how much I should be drinking of it and whatnot because it's been quite a while since I researched it. And I find out that you can sort of drink anywhere from like a quarter of the bottle to like a whole bottle to be able to get anywhere from like a very small amount of effects to like full on what people compare to like LSD, right? Or compared to LSD, like, right. Me being me, I just sort of thought, well, I need this for my cough anyway, right? I need to drink this for my cough. So why don't I try to drink a little bit more than what I should be drinking. <laughs> so, <laughs> I drink him and I probably, yeah, I probably drink like just under like a quarter, right? And I wait like 45 minutes, an hour. I don't feel nothing. I don't feel absolutely anything. And I'm thinking, well, I've obviously not done enough here because usually, you know, from everything I've seen online, people feel stuff after like an hour, like, you know, around that sort of time, they start feeling a bit wavy, like, or if you've been sat down for that whole time, you stand up and you like, you know, you notice that difference, right? I didn't feel nada, literally absolutely nothing. So I was like, fuck it. And I ended up drinking half the bottle at this point, right? I was just like, fuck it. I'll drink, I'll drink half the bottle, right? And I drank half the bottle and I still don't feel nothing. I wait like another hour. I don't feel absolute shit, right? So at this point, I'm thinking, ah, well, you know, the dosage is probably like a bit off. Like, uh, I don't know, like, you know, I could take a lot of stuff as well. And I, I, I end up drinking like this whole bottle. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, in the span of about two and a half hours, three hours, it's gone from me being just a bit curious on, on this to drinking the entire bottle, which <laughs> was not a good idea because about... 15 minutes after I'd finished the whole bottle, I started to feel fucked. Like, I started to feel wanked. Like, I, I just remember feeling drunk. Like, that was that was how I felt originally. Like, I, like, I, I just remember 15 minutes in, I, I went up to get some water and I was like stumbling and I like, couldn't type things right on my phone and it just, it didn't feel right. It felt like when you were like, you know, when you're just about getting into your drunk stage, right? And I, but I didn't feel like I was tripping or anything. Like it ju I just felt really drunk. It wasn't until maybe like an hour after that drunk period of time did I start actually like tripping bollocks. Like I was, I was proper like, oh my god. So bear in mind, this is like four hours in from when I initially took my first ever dose, and uh, it's about an, like an hour, two hours since I've taken like the majority of the dose. And yeah, like uh, this is where I start feeling like. I don't know, I definitely wouldn't compare it to LSD. I don't know who is out there comparing this to LSD, but like to me personally, felt absolutely nothing like LSD. Like, I, 
if there was a drug I can I could compare it to, I don't know if anyone's done AMT before, um, but like it was kind of like AMT. Like there, there's such distinctions in where there is a trip, but then there's also such distinctions in where there's not a trip. Right? I felt when I did acid, um, I couldn't define the difference between the trip and reality. Like it wasn't a possibility. Whereas with uh, with this, I, I totally could. Like I could totally, um, like, I don't know, like if, if there was one thing I felt really wavy and it suddenly started moving around, like, you know, say I came in and I saw my laptop and it started fucking spinning around and going all nuts. Like the rest of my room was completely fine. And like I could know, like, I'm just tripping, you know? Like, and if I really focused hard enough, I could get it to stop. Like, that's kind of how it felt, which was all right, right? And I'm not gonna lie, yeah? If he, if I had just had a trip like that for the next couple hours, I would have been absolutely fine. I would have been absolutely fine, yeah? But no! So bearing in mind, I made sure there was no other ingredients in this. There was no unactive ingredients, there was no active ingredients, there was nothing that would fuck me over. But holy shit, like two hours, like around there, two hours, three hours into my like heavy trip, my stomach don't feel good. My stomach does not feel good, yeah, and I'm dying. I'm like, 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 I, I, I couldn't tell whether I really needed to be sick or whether I really needed a shit. Like it was, it was so bad. And I went to the toilet and I'm like, I'm not even gonna lie, yeah, I spent probably the next three hours of my trip just sat on the toilet. Like, it was so fucking shit. It was, so, no pun intended there, it was so awful. It was so fucking awful, like, oh my God. So I probably spent like two hours of actually having like a decent trip that felt somewhat all right, to then have like four hours of just sitting on a toilet, waiting to stop shitting because my stomach feels so bad. Like, it was actually so fucking awful. Like, I, like, I don't think I've had another trip. Like, I've, I've done a lot of drugs and spent a lot of time in the toilet on a, on a drug, yeah? But, like, I mean, it actually felt horrible. Like, I mean, like, you know, you, ju you, you just want to be able to flick a switch and just fucking end because you feel like you're going to die. Like, nah, my, like, it feels like your inside's going to come out. Right, look, fuck it. I'm gonna stop this here because you don't need to hear the graphic details of me having explosive diarrhea from taking DXM. What you do need to know is that I tried it. I thought it was gonna be good. I thought it was gonna be this comparison to LSD. And what it ended up being was two hours of me feeling confused and drunk to then five hours of me sat on the fucking toilet. And that was DXM for me. So people, if you enjoyed this story, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know in the comments below. If you've ever had an experience with DXM, let me know in the comments below as well. Guys, remember, don't ever fucking do this shit because I tell these stories for you guys so that you guys don't have to go out there and do them yourselves, right? Like, I've had these horrible stories, so you don't need to have them as well. Like, look, that's the, that's the whole point. That's the whole point of this. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out the sponsor of the day. Link is in the description. We've got some crazy videos coming out soon. Crazy fucking videos coming out soon. We're going out Amsterdam. We're filming out a bunch of shit. We're spending loads of money on content. Guys, it's going to be sick. Stay tuned. Stay subscribed. Hit the fucking notification bell because, goddamn, this channel is about to go nuts with these videos. See you very soon. On a live stream, probably, probably at some point soon. In a bit, later, peace the fuck out, later.